Hey guys, I'm on Recipe here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make chicken parmigiano. My brother Anthony taught me how to make it and now you guys I'm gonna teach you how to make it on this way. So vamos a empezar. For this recipe you're going to need two pounds of chicken breast, one cup of breadcrumbs, some parmigiano cheese, one cup of oil, any oil you have for frying, three eggs, one for a teaspoon of salt, one for a teaspoon of black pepper, some mozzarella cheese, half a pound begin, one for a cup of flour, one jar of tomato sauce, 24 ounces, two tablespoons of olive oil, half a teaspoon of Italian seasons, a quarter of an onion, and two garlic. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start is preparing our sauce, and I'm gonna just need a quarter of an onion, and I'm using this one. So I'm gonna chop it very small pieces. You can chop it very small, or you can leave it whole and then fry and take it up, but I'm just going to chop it in small pieces. And I also have my garlic already here ready. So to that point, we're going to move to the stove. So I'm going to preheat my pot, medium heat, two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to let it heat for a few minutes. So now that I preheat my pot, I'm just going to add my onions and I'm going to let it cook for a little bit. After that, I've been cooking it for two minutes. It has changed a little bit, so I'm gonna add my garlic. And my garlic, I'm not gonna leave it very long because the garlic can burn if you do that. So if you do this way, it should be only like 30 seconds. At the same time, I'm gonna add my half a teaspoon of Italian season. I'm gonna lower the heat so my sauce doesn't jump all over. And then I'm gonna add my sauce. I add a little water to my jar so that way I don't lose a lot of the sauce and just put it in there. So I'm just going to cover it and let it cook in medium heat for a little bit. Okay, as you can see, uh, my sauce is already boiling, so what I'm going to stir is going to lower the heat. I still want it to boil, but, but not, not like really like splashing, so I'm going to cover it and leave it there for a little bit. So I'm going to put it in number two. I don't know what to stop has, but just enough so they can still boil. In the meantime, we can be moving to prepare our chicken. So I have two breads here, chicken breads. You can see how they look. They're a little thick and that's good. So we're gonna butterfly them. We're gonna have to have a knife big enough, not too small. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my hand here and I'm gonna cut it in half. So there's two. And it's a little thicker, but we're not done. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so very good. So that's what we have. We have four pizzas and this one will feed four people. So after I have that, I'm gonna rinse my hands. So I'm gonna be using plastic wrap and I'm gonna put my chicken and I'm gonna pound my chicken because I'm gonna make it thinner. I have my chicken already there. So I'm gonna use two wrapper plastic and I'm gonna cover this way. I always find out when you beat the chicken, it comes more tender and more juicy and it cooks even because you're gonna flood it. And I'm using the cutting board so I don't wanna hit the counter and then break the thing. Okay guys, so what I was doing, uh, uh, my brother Anthony showed me how to make it before. I didn't have one of these and maybe probably you guys do not have one of those. So you can use it just like a can and then beat it up to make it kinda flat. Also, um, since I didn't have one of those and I need it and I'm in love with this recipe so I had to buy one. Thank you, Anthony. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna beat it and make it fly. You see how flat it's coming? And probably we're gonna do more with the part is more thick. Okay, so now we're done with this thing. So I'm gonna season the chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. Just use your jasmine how much or how little, but just like a little pinch. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Cover it back. And I'm going to flip it. Doing the same thing, just pepper, salt. Okay, so now that I have this thing, I'm gonna prepare my bread. So I'm gonna prepare my bread and I'm only gonna use one cup because I only gonna put the thing one time. But also what I wanted to mention also too because we wanted to keep our hands dry all the time because when you're touching the bread and everything, it cut all clumps. I'm gonna use one of these, like a little bit instead of the place. I'm just gonna put my bread right there and this is how it looks. 
I'm not gonna add anything because this is Italian breadcrumbs already seasoned it from there. I'm gonna also prepare my eggs and I'm gonna use this one because it's seasoned when I put the egg in there. I'm using one for a teaspoon of black pepper and one for a teaspoon of salt. There we go. And it's only three eggs, so we don't really need a lot of salt and pepper. Whisk all my eggs with the salt and pepper really well. So this is ready. Okay guys, as you guys can see, I already have my egg ready, my bread ready. But I'm also giving you option. I'm not using a lot of flour. I only have one four of a cup of flour. Just gonna put it like that. But also if you don't wanna do this, way, well, you can just put it in a plate. And if you have one little brush, just brush it. What we're trying to do is kind of make it dry so when we stick it in the in the egg it will get uh, wet. So first we need it to dry it and then wet so all the egg will stick. More flour. But whatever is easy for you, if you want to put it in a plane, just do that. You can definitely do that. So as you can see, I didn't really use a lot of flour, so that's actually very little flour. It's gonna do this, dry the whole thing. Okay, so my sauce has been cooking for 15 minutes and this is how it looks to this point. So I don't no longer need to cook it, I'm just gonna turn it off. Just leave it there. To this part, what we're gonna do, we're gonna need two forks. One for each side because we do not want to get our hands dirty when you get it, all the bread can so clumps and we don't want them. And I also have a paper here, which is why you cannot really tell. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my chicken and put my chicken here. And put it in here now that I have it here I'm gonna put it here this is what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna touch the bread just gonna do this now that I have it like that I have my dry four I'm just gonna take it like that with the four and do the same thing just with the four I'm just gonna put a little bit in the part that I think is missing so now that I have my bread already breading I'm just gonna put it in here and I'm gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna do my last part and you can see I don't have a lot of bread but what I, what you wanted to do is just to have it like all over the bottle you see like that so when you put the chicken there it's gonna be the last one same thing <music> And as you can see, I don't have a lot of bread like left over, and I don't have my hands all dirty. Okay, so the bread that you have left over, you're gonna have to throw them away because the meat and the egg, you do not put it back into the bottle, this is trash. Okay guys, so now that I got bread my chicken, so we're gonna preheat our oven 350 degrees. And I'm gonna also keep moving to prepare my oil to get everything ready, so the oil needs to be hot, so let's move to here. I am preheating my pot. I'm just gonna put one cup of oil and let it heat. Okay guys, so we wanted to make sure the oil is warm enough. So, and the way you know is you're gonna have to put the spoon and the oil is boiling, that means it's, it's hot. I'm gonna put my chicken. And they're quite big, so probably just gonna do one at a time. So I don't think so I fit another one. My pan is kinda small. And we're gonna cook it for one and a half or two minutes. So I'm gonna use the four and I'm gonna flip it. So this one is was a minute and a half. So also sometimes don't put the flame really like super super hot to so put it in medium heat. And that's just how it's supposed to look, golden brown. I'm gonna do the same thing with another one. And I was trying to put the chicken first this part and then don't ever do it towards you. When you bread in the chicken, if you make more than two pounds and you want to make more and you can double, but the thing that you never want to do is to stack the chicken and tap another one because uh, they will cut stuck together. Like you can see the bread, like if you put in just one layer of the bread, they're really nice. Okay guys, so this one we done, just gonna turn off the stove, see it's nice and brown. Okay, so I'm gonna be working on my cheese, you can use cheese like that or you can use already grater. 
So I'm just gonna cut a couple slices like that. Uh, I know for sure you're gonna need at least half a pound. Mine that I bought is two pounds, but I'm not using the whole thing. So now that I have my cheese ready, I'm gonna keep moving to prepare my pot. I'm just gonna put our chicken together. I have my sauce here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a couple sauce over here on the bottom. And cover it a little bit, just like that. What I need to do is put my Parmigiano cheese just like that to give it a little bit of flavor and then I'm gonna put my chicken just gonna put it in there then I'm gonna put my other chicken and I cut it a little bit because it was a little big so I'm just gonna do this a little bit more sauce like that and we're gonna save a little bit so a little bit sauce just so that way we can heat some spaghetti sauce or some noodles any noodles you have you can boil and then just can just enjoy the chicken with the pasta so I'm just I have over here my cheese so we're just gonna put some cheese in here we're just gonna bring it to the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes we don't need to cook it more than that we're not gonna cover it because it's not gonna be too long because kind of the chicken is already cooked okay guys so my chicken has been cooking for 15 minutes and it's done let's see the moment of truth okay so this is how it looks now we can decorate it with a little bit of basil Okay guys, so that's it for this video. As you can see, it's really easy. And if you guys run any ideas to make some any dinner, so this one can be pretty good. Most everybody loves chicken. So there you have another recipe. So hopefully you guys give it a try. So hasta la vista.